Previously, I reviewed the AU Star God 57, a mini PC with a big name and a big fan on top of it. And it's something a lot of us wanted to see for a while now. Bigger fan blades means a lower pitch for fan noise than smaller laptop style coolers, most commonly used in minis. But the fan is one thing, the heatsink another, and both can drastically change the cooling and noise results. While last time we looked at a low powered Ryzen 5700U version of this mini PC, this time we're checking out a much more powerful model. CYX Industrial manufactures this mini PC and sells it OEM to various brands, so you might see it called something else, but it's distinct and easy to spot, especially with all that RGB and gamer style design. So how does this larger fan mini hold up with one of AMD's top end CPUs? We'll take a look at it in depth right after this message. Ezus Partition Master Professional is a comprehensive storage partitioning app for your PC or server. Resize and extend partitions, clone OS drives, convert MBR to GPT, and even recover lost or broken partitions. Find out more in the video description. The Ace Magic AM18 Mini PC is a plastic box from top to bottom. It looks like plastic, it feels like plastic, and it tastes like plastic. The Mini creaks in the hands with a bit of pressure and doesn't give off the best build quality vibes, but that was already mentioned in the previous review. If you like RGB lighting, you'll love the AM18. It has the most RGB at this size that I can remember, with a dedicated light button to cycle through various modes. And thankfully, my favorite mode, off, is included. And the Mini remembers it after shutting it down. Thank God. Ace Magic's AM18 model comes with AMD's Ryzen 7840HS, which is the best value AMD CPU with Radeon 780M graphics. But the Mini is also available with the 8845HS, which adds an AI engine or NPU, so AMD can pretend there's extra value there and slap on a new generation label. Either way, you're looking at 8 cores, 16 threads, with the same CPU and graphics boost clocks. Ace Magic's AM18 is currently $479 for the Ryzen 7840HS model with 32GB of DDR5 and a 512GB NVMe SSD on their website, or the 1TB storage model is $499 both on the website and Amazon.com. Included is a 100W USB-C power supply, HDMI cord, and monitor mount. So I already mentioned the lighting control button on the front. There are also two USB 3 10 gigabit ports and a USB 4. I was able to briefly power on the mini with my USB C monitor through the USB 4 port, but it shuts off after a couple of seconds, maybe since my monitor only provides 75 watts maximum. The back uses a USB C port for power, and my monitor was again able to power it. But it doesn't provide display through the rear port, so it's not much better than a barrel jack. There's also a mix of Intel 2.5 Gigabit and Realtek Gigabit LAN, HDMI, DisplayPort, and Dual USB 2. You can run three displays natively on this one. Wireless is handled by a Realtek 8852BE Wi-Fi 6 chip. This is the part where it tests the Bluetooth range, but unfortunately, Bluetooth isn't working at all on my review unit. My Mini isn't detecting any Bluetooth device, including my speaker, even when it's right next to it. Looks like the Bluetooth on the M.2 card is faulty. Still, this is the type of thing that should have been picked up during quality control. But at least the good news is, Wi-Fi range is great. I played Valorant at 12 meters or 39 feet from the router using the 5G band. If there's an issue, the client is quick to point it out. But the full gaming session didn't show any network issue notifications. Okay, let's have a look inside. Glued on rubber feet are back, my favorite. Then four screws. Pry open the bottom lid and it's good to see there's a fan to help keep the DDR5 RAM and storage cool. On top of that, the Gen 4 NVMe has a heatsink. If we remove the M.2 storage drive, we find the M.2 Realtek wireless card. One complaint I have here is the lack of an additional storage option. So for $20 US extra, I definitely recommend going with the 1TB model. Ace Magic provides Windows 11 Home out of the box. I scanned the OS for malware and it came up clean. Ubuntu works fine. Everything just worked straight off my USB installation drive. Now, 
Let's take a look at the benchmarks. Ace Magic has set this mini PC to the quiet power profile in the BIOS by default. I tested all three, and it turns out the performance profile used as much as 118 watts from the wall, and the included 100 watt power supply couldn't handle it after a while. It caused the mini PC to just shut off. So I've ditched it from the benchmarks. Just an update during the review process, balance mode is also too much for the power supply to handle. So the Ace Magic AM18 can only be used reliably in quiet mode. I'm still including the balance mode benchmarks out of curiosity. To keep the AM18 in line with my graphs, default score means the quiet mode and performance is the balance mode. There's nothing interesting in the single core test. The AM18 performs as it should and increasing the power limit doesn't make any difference. In multi-core, there's a 7% jump after increasing the power profile, which gets it closer to the best performing 7840HS minis. Geekbench shows a good single core result, and there's a low rise in multi-core with a balanced power profile, just 1%. H.264 video encoding shows a bigger improvement of a few percent, while AV1 software wasn't much faster. The Ryzen 7840HS does have AV1 hardware encoding and matches the other 7840HS result I've tested. We also see good results for the integrated graphics in DX11 and DX12. Not much difference between the top AMD performers running Radeon 780M graphics. In Steel Nomad, it was only slightly behind the best performer. The race in Gen 4 SSD in this mini isn't the fastest tested it's good to see the sequential write close to the read speed with both surpassing Gen 3. There's not a whole left to be said about AMD's Radeon 780M graphics. It was the fastest integrated graphics when released and allows you to play esports games with high frame rates up to 4K depending on the title. It can also handle current AAA games if you stick to 1080p low detail settings. You might also have to enable FSR upscaling for some of the more demanding titles. The USB 4 port allows an eGPU to be attached to it with a total of 40 gigabits bandwidth. Here I'm playing a game using my USB 4 external graphics enclosure with an RTX 3070. Emulator wise with the integrated graphics, you're looking at 1440p resolution for PS2, GameCube and Wii games, and 1080p for PS3 and Wii U. Video editing performance at 4K is good. The 7840HS is pretty responsive in Adobe Premiere and gets the job done. But go for an Intel Mini if video editing is your goal, as Intel's QuickSync does a better job. Alright, so in the BIOS you'll find the CPU power limiting option in Advance, then Power Configuration. As mentioned before, stick to Quiet as Performance or Balance Mode is too much for the included power supply. The other commonly sought options, such as AC Power Failure and Wake on LAN, are also found here. Now, let's check out Power Draw. The AM18 is above average for idle Power Draw at 11 watts. The best performing 7840HS is down at just 8. This mini draws 100 watts from the wall using the out of box quiet mode and 109 with balanced. Whatever power mode you use, the maximum CPU temp was unchanged at 89C. Ace Magic's AM18 is definitely on the lower side of the fan noise chart. It does get beat by other mini PCs, but keep in mind it makes up for the noise level by having a more pleasant lower pitched fan. Some of the minis on this list have really whiny coolers.
The heatsink on the NVMe drive plus the fan underneath helps keep the drive from thermal throttling and the same with the DDR5 memory. So let's finish this one up with the pros and cons. Ace Magic's AM18 brings back the large 90mm fan and it doesn't disappoint. While the decibels aren't the lowest we've seen, it's less annoying under load thanks to the bigger blades giving a less whiny pitch. If you're looking for a gamer aesthetic on your mini PC with RGB lighting, I guess you'll like this mini. Cooling is included for the RAM and NVMe drive and keeps both from thermal throttling. However, I think Ace Magic should have included a 120 watt power supply with a barrel jack and set balance mode as default. The USB-C power port doesn't do display but limits the maximum wattage to 100. Plastic and build quality isn't the greatest. The lack of an extra storage option is also a glaring omission. Overall, the AM18 holds up pretty well. I'm hoping we see more mini PCs with 90mm fans going forward as it does make a noticeable difference for a slightly larger mini PC. CYX Industrial also makes mini PCs for the Camrui brand and you can check out my review of the AM08 Pro right here, which is an interesting mini PC with a power dial. Cheers!